we kick off strong into the second half of the year, I am shocked to say it's already going on middle of August, and in today's video, I thought it'd be worthwhile to at least look at the first half, but the best sets of 2023 in my opinion so far. So without further ado, sit back, enjoy my top 10 list, and let's get dig right into this. Kicking things off at number 10, we have the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Space Roller Coaster. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this set, it is absolutely 100% new to August 1st LEGO releases, and it is a retail price of $110, which I think was quite fair for what you get in this set. Of course, being in a 3-in-1, you get it to build it three different ways. The version I'm showing right now is the Roller Coaster option, and by far, in my opinion, the best option. I was not expecting to like this set as much as I did and was thoroughly impressed with all the details, the playability, and of course, there's two other options to build this, which I have not built, but they also look pretty good, so I thought I'd give them justice. This one is like a UFO spinning machine. Pretty cool minifigs that do come with this. Uh, you also get a mini Benny, which is pretty nice to have. And then, of course, you get a space shuttle launch session with a ride like a drop tower. So that one's pretty cool as well that I do like. But regardless, nonetheless, still a really cool set. The roller coaster being my absolute favorite and definitely worth the penny of $110. But that takes us to our number nine on the list, and I think this one is no shock. It should be make my top 10 of 2023 so far. It is one of the newest LEGO idea set, and it's going to be the Hocus Pocus Jam Packed with some of the coolest details. I'm not a major Hocus Pocus fan. I've actually just seen it for the first time, oh, I want to say last year at around Halloween time, and Halloween's approaching extremely fast, and I have not built or bought this set yet, and I plan on doing so for Halloween this year, just because it gives me those, you know, spooky Halloween vibes. Uh, now, the actual details of the set is what really intrigues me. Nonetheless, I'm not, like I said, a huge Hocus Pocus fan. I'm more interested in the build and the building techniques. It reminds me of a lot of the LEGO Ideas Blacksmith, and I think it would pair quite nicely in my little village area that I'm making uh, for, you know, a spooky se session uh, with, you know, the medieval blacksmith and even the Lion Knight's castle. So definitely was thoroughly impressed with the images and like some of the reviews of this one. So plan on getting it. It is modular style, which, you know, is a calling card to me. Uh, the minifigs, uh, truthfully, I mean, they, they are great, but they they can they mean they don't mean a whole lot to me again being so focused around the detail and the graveyard little section i thought they added in was something i really really did enjoy but regardless of course being around the halloween theme and like kind of feels definitely makes it high up on my top 10 list just because i love halloween time it's my favorite time of the month and uh, of course because it's my birthday month right so uh, but anyways i think the set looks incredible if you've built this let me know in the comments did you enjoy it because I'm really excited about this one. And I'm looking forward to building it. So let's kick off things at a set we did build, and that's going to be number eight, the A-Frame Canvan. And again, this is going to be a Lego idea set number 46. And quite frankly, I thought this set was pretty well executed. It just features a A-Frame cabin, something you would think to find in the middle of a forest or, I don't know, even a natural preserve. I don't know. It's it's quite the build. Uh, the building technique I thought was very interesting on this one, kind of like tiling off all the sides. Uh, the minifigs were nothing spectacular. You get some like a hiker, you get a cozy jacket a woman, a guy, you know, with a bunch of animals, uh, someone in a boat, camera girl. It, it's all over the place. But Regardless, I think it was a pretty great set. Uh, the trees, I think, were one of the biggest thing lacking compared to its original model, but uh, it's nice to get some colorful trees in a Lego set. And, of course, you get a blue robin and a red robin, which is pretty cool. Uh, but regardless, still had a ton of details, definitely references to other uh, Lego idea sets and the overall build. Uh, it's aesthetically pleasing to look at. So really enjoyed this one. I bought this one, I believe, around day one because I just... I thought it was pretty amazing, and it definitely fit that theme. So it's in my LEGO city. I enjoyed it, making it definitely one of my top 10 LEGO sets of 2023. Now, let's go to one that we got free. So, guys, this is going to be number seven on our list, and this was attainable by spending $100 in the month of, I believe it was July, but it's going to be set number 40600, and it's the 100th year anniversary for Disney, and I think Disney's done a fantastic job celebrating 100 years, and this promo, this gift with purchase, just does it justice, right? You get an exclusive Mickey Mouse minifig. You get a nice little camera, that a light brick that shines, uh, brights up and has like the movie display of Steamboat Willie. Uh, you get the 100th year anniversary sign with balloons. It's, it's quite the build. Regardless, guys, I know this one sold out extremely fast, 
but it was it's such a unique promo it's definitely one of my top you know probably top three promos of all time it was it was that good and i've definitely preached that in other videos so i won't go too much into that now but definitely making it on my top seven list because it was quite amazing Number six is going to be a September 1st release, and I don't need to build this set knowing it's going to make it on my top list. It is the Coruscant Guard Gunship set number 75354. It comes up with over a thousand pieces and is featured in this bright red accented color with, of course, white uh, being the main kind of piece color. Well, I guess the white is more of the trim color, but it got some stud shooters in this build. It looks like it has a ton of playability. I personally absolutely love gunships and i'm so excited for this one i'm hoping to grab a bunch of these just because i'm i'm that excited i know we have a lot of the older gunships of uh, my uncle in his collection but this one you know is it's nice i think they did a really good job with it i know there's been some hashback on some of the minifigs but I, nonetheless that does not take anything away from this set. i think it's going to be definitely one of the top five sets um of the year um uh, i definitely put it higher on my list just because we haven't got to get it and build it but one of the other features that i really like is that you're able to pick this thing up they incorporated the technic in there to pick it up and move it around accessible i i love that um i had to move like i want to say like 15 to 20 gunships of my uncles and there was a series i forget what year it was but they didn't have the like technic pins to like pick them up and it made it so difficult but here are the minifigs you get palpatine uh, you get padme you get shock troopers they uh, the general fox they look good in my opinion i know a lot of hashback but for me, this set definitely making it on a top 10 right now and will be a top five set of 2023 in my eyes. But as we talk about top five, let's kick things off with our number five on our list. And this is going to be another Disney set because Disney's just doing such a good job this year celebrating the 100 year anniversary. And this one is going to be the 100 year anniversary camera. Check out that film. I think that's something to step back and just amaze. Uh, you also do get that tripod build, which is pretty cool it's probably really nice to build like a tripod out of lego uh so i'm really excited about that it's got that crank on the camera it has the 100 year anniversary sign on top you even get a couple minifigs in this one and minifigs being pretty unique in my opinion so i'm super excited for this also being a september 1st release i'm throwing it in here because it's quite glorious and i know it's going to be an amazing build i just i just know it i have full faith and that's why it's making so how so high up on my list uh it's just a unique set and of course disney you know is celebrating the 100 year anniversary this year i think it's just a calling card right they've just done so well so i'm really excited for the minifigs you you get that bambi uh, as well as dumbo so that's two things that ex really really excited me they're just so cool uh and i'm a huge bambi fan so oddly enough yeah but that film i think is going to be a huge deal breaker in my opinion i think it's probably one of the coolest things lego's done number four is going to be a set we bought on absolute day one to build and review it is going to be the lego dreams nightmare shark ship set number 71469 this set retails for 140 dollars. and if you didn't watch my review and are wanting to learn more about this highly recommend checking it out because this set is absolutely amazing definitely a top tier set in my opinion to kick off 2023 well maybe not kick off 2023 but go so far into 2023 it is part of the new lego dreams theme and if you don't know what lego dreams in it is an all original new lego theme new to 2023 and it looks like they'll be continuing the show here and going into 2024 the minifigs i thought were quite amazing uh my favorite one being the nightmare king himself uh one of the interesting things about the set is you could build this in two different ways when you get so far in the instructions it tells you hey you know what do you want to do do you want to build it this way as a flying ship or do you want to build it this way as a you know rolling land rover shark ship so i thought that was interesting definitely really cool and lego dreams offers those two unique ways of building so something really interesting but regardless the ship is so detailed i absolutely loved it number three is going to be another set we picked up day one for a review it's going to be set number seven five three four eight the mandalorian fang finder versus the tie interceptor now, this one has a retail price of $100 for about 957 pieces. So you're like, oh, you know what? I'm paying a little bit more than 10 cents price per piece. But for me, I think this is a top tier set because for $100, you get two ships to kind of go hand in hand with each other. It's, you know, from the Mandalorian, it comes with some really good minifigs and just two separate instructions for two ships. So I feel like if you have two kids, this set works amazing. Or you want a date night, the set works amazing. Or you and a friend want to build, the set works amazing. Just because for $100, you know, $50 a piece, I think is quite reasonable. And you get two pretty awesome 
awesome Lego Star Wars ships. So one, it really did excite me. I think the TIE Interceptor, of course, being a lot better than the Fang Fighter, but uh, regardless, two really cool ships. And again, you get Bo-Katan and the Mandalorian in this one for 100 bucks. So pretty exciting set. I enjoyed it, and I definitely display it quite nicely. I love the TIE Interceptor. But that takes us to our number two, and I think this is no surprise, and you're probably thinking this was going to be my number one, but it's not. It's the Jazz Club newest 2023 lego modular building i'm a huge lego modular fan i do try to collect all of them even in multiple copies to build alternate versions later down the road but they did such a good job with the jazz club it's so detailed the colors are so vibrant it's something unique something different it was quite the build i enjoyed it thoroughly I'm not, a, you know, huge into jazz, right, or anything like that, or just music in general, but they kicked this set's butt. I loved it. It was so detailed uh, and a, a great way to start the year, right, because that set released January 1st of 2023, so it was like one of the first sets we got along with other sets in, you know, different ways. Regardless, but. I'm going to buy the Modulars Day freaking one because they're just some of the best and most enjoyable builds, in my opinion. I don't know, something about having four walls and stackable floors and just tons of details, It just it's just the epiphany of Lego for me, so definitely a top tier set. Again, you're probably shocked it's number two and not number one, but that's going to be here in just a few moments. But regardless, the details packed into this set, they do such a good job. They just add so much detail for such a, you know, reasonable price, right? I think it retails for $230. And you, I, it's just such a bang for your buck. And of course, one of my favorite things about like first floors of the building are all like tiled off in general. Uh, like here's the, the bakery inside the pizzeria on the right hand side, the smaller building. Uh, and then here's, you know, another floor with Oh, uh, the office of, you know, one of the em employees, right, getting called up to be part of the jazz club. I don't know. Anyways, it fits nice well with some of the pre previous modulars like the police station, the boutique hotel. So it makes it on our number two list. But let's anyways talk about our number one. If you are shocked by this, I, I hope you guys knew this was coming. Of course, Ninjago Dragons Rising, the Ninjago City Markets makes it onto our number one le one set. This set is absolutely amazing, guys. It retails for $370 and for me is the best set of the year and will not be beaten. Uh, it is untouchable, especially for the price point. Price point, $370. You get over 6,000 pieces. is absolutely ridiculous. You get a boatload of minifigs. You get a ginormous build. You get a ton of playability. You get a modular. And of course, it's being Ninjago. So for me, it's going to be undefeated best set of the year. And I enjoyed this. Bought it day one. Enjoyed the build day one. And I absolutely loved it. Uh, it has some really cool play features. It has a gondola that goes up and down. Uh, which is something we really never have seen. I know Ninjago fans, and including myself, really want a Borg's Tower. They definitely give it a tribute to Borg, giving him a small Borg's Tower with, you know, just like one office for himself and one for an employee. Uh, but jam-packed with details, again, being more of a modular-style build, like this bakery being shoved into here, or they even have a gaming room from the Ninja from uh, the bar that dareth owns so little calling cards uh, to the show all over spritzed across this set so that's something i also enjoyed uh cyrus borg of course being a minifig that a lot of people are enticed to have but they gave him an elevator in his wheelchair to kind of go throughout this ninjago city markets uh, and of course it features the new ninja like aaron uh, being from the new dragon rising show so i thought that was interesting and I, I really did love it because you're getting a variety of minifigs so minifigs definitely killed it in this set uh if you're not even a Ninjago fan, it's just so nice to get so many different and unique minifigs. But if you are a Ninjago fan, you're definitely pleased because we've seen a lot of figs that we never have seen in previous years. So huge, impactful set to my collection. Definitely one of my favorites. But anyways, guys, and that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Let me know if I missed a sit set on your top 10 list of 2023 so far i'm super excited for the gunship that's one that i don't own yet that i'm really excited but let me know what you guys think in the comments below give me your top 10 list let me know what i missed and as always guys hope you enjoyed today's video if you did i kindly ask you hit that subscribe button i love you guys hope you have an amazing rest of the day we will see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys christo out